The town of Grindavik was evacuated in the November 2023. It is now going to be opened. Authorities feel that they have done enough to secure the place. The areas that had crack are secured. Of course, the cracks are still dangerous, but it's not a big deal. And uh, even uh, thinking about uh, using it as a tourist attraction is looming, you know, in the uh, offices of the uh, local authorities. Uh, this area, of course, uh, we have mapped that uh, fault lines created by these earthquakes and previous ones before that. We have tried to repair them, establish the connection. Families who have sold it, of course, they have moved their, from their houses, they sold their houses. But those ones who are around 40 families still may be uh, willing to uh, stay there. The companies also are interested, not just for business, for tourism also. And the fault lines, uh, which we mentioned, are created all over the place, including the gym, sports hall, are practically filled. Uh, it's, it's, it's a dangerous area in that sense. But at the moment, the earthquake level is low. The activity of the earthquakes in that area, sourcing volcanic system, is low. Although in the Krisovic at the adjacent uh, Fegedesvil system, we have uh, still the activities going on. From the depth, we can see over a few uh, days how it has changed. Uh, in the Krisovic system, we can see at the depth of the five to six kilometers earthquakes are happening. These are the tectonic earthquakes creating the you know movement of the plate to accommodate the uh, resulting uh, uh, eruption in the Sorsengi. And at the Sorsengi, we are seeing the very deep earthquakes, 12, uh, 10, 9 kilometers deep. These are tectonic movements also creating the space for the magma to rise. Magma accumulation continues. It had been a steeper, with a steeper slope uh, rising the ground. Now it is shallower. That means the magma accumulation has slowed down. Also, we had some you know, solar uh, activity disrupting the GPS measurements by the satellites. There's a mark there. But this system, adjustment system, which is the Fegedesville and the Krisovic and the next one, Hengil, and all those ones, are gradually become more active than what is in the Fegedesville. They have to accommodate the movement. Eventually, when the uh, when the Swartzengi, I should say, Swartzengi uh, erupts, and I predict that will be in the second half of the November, we will have eruption. But risk assessment stays the same. Although, if the eruption happens in the mid-November, it will be quick. Perhaps only 30 minutes between the storm of the earthquakes and the eruption, something like this, very quick. So these are all the summary of the um, uh, report and update by the Icelandic Meteorological Office, uh, the GPS data, the magma accumulation, the warning, uh, time, 30 minutes, as I mentioned, seismic activity being quiet in the sourcing volcanic system, and unchanged uh, uh, risk assessment, which is a legal document. And the town of the Green Davik will be opened, and uh, there is a possibility that the tourists will be allowed to visit the selected sites. Of course, the areas which are dangerous are already guarded and protected. People cannot enter those areas.